Dame Deborah James' children Hugo and Eloise bravely read poems at their mother's funeral on Wednesday, July 20. Brave campaigner Deborah passed away age 40 on June 28, after a five-year-long battle with bowel cancer. In the weeks leading up to her passing, while the podcaster was in hospice care at her parents' home, Mom Deborah shared her wishes for her children to read out poems at her funeral service. And in honor of those wishes Dame Deborah's children Hugo, 14, and 12-year-old Eloise stood in front of friends and family to recite a poem each at St. Mary's Church in Barnes. Hugo who also carried his mother's wicker coffin into the church ahead of the service, read a poem he had written himself. Meanwhile, Eloise also delivered a piece as per her mother's wishes. Deborah's husband Sebastian also delivered a eulogy as the campaigner's friends and family said their goodbyes in the ceremony. Another wish of Deborah's that was fulfilled on the day was the inclusion of the Blood Brothers song Tell Me It's Not True. Deborah's friend Natalie Rushdie, who is a classically trained jazz singer, gave a rendition of the tune to mourners. And cellist Charles Watt played music from Gabriel Foray, while family friend Sarah Mountford read an extract from Ecclesiastes. The campaigners' friends and family attended the service on Wednesday including Lorraine Kelly, Tom and Giovanna Fletcher and Gabby Roslin. The podcaster, who has now raised more than seven pounds. Four million for Cancer Research UK in her Bow Babe Fund, expressed her wishes for her funeral in a touching interview with the Sunday Times in May. Speaking shortly after she had gone into hospice care at her parents' home, Deborah revealed she had already arranged her funeral service, revealing she wanted a church service and to be cremated. Deborah said of her funeral at the time, It sounds morbid, but I want a somber funeral in black and white because I think people look good in black and white. There's a big church in Barnes and I'll leave Seb to decide on the reception, as long as there is tequila. Being a teacher, I was thinking about all the different things I could get people to do. I'm thinking of asking people to bring a picture or a funny anecdote, so my family have something to remember. Deborah added how she hopes the anecdotes will help her teenage children Hugo and Eloise collect memories from people. She shared hopes they will remember her but added that they are still very young so Deborah feared her image will fade and they will have to rely on videos or photos of their beloved mum. The mum added, my children love reading poems with me, so, if they would be up for it, I'd like them to read. Deborah also shared her wishes for there to be a bench installed in the common opposite their family home in Barnes. The small bench, Deborah explained, will be somewhere her children can sit and cry. And, as for her ashes, Deborah added, some people want their ashes scattered in different places, I don't because I think I would be lonely. I'm the kind of person that wouldn't mind staying in the top drawer in the kitchen for a while.